Okuyui in Wazur. Song of Laano. The Poetry of Okatl Baitek. Okat P. Baitek in his Song of Laano, Song of Akal, Song of Prisoner, and Song of Malaya, makes a definite impression on modern African poetry. In all these poems, except Song of Akal to some extent, he makes use of oral tradition as a basic foundation or launching pad. P. Baitek himself justifies this approach which he says. Literary culture so deep, so vivid, and alive that for the moment the very little written stuff appears almost irrelevant, quote in Roscoe, 10. What are P. Bike's concerns in these songs, especially Song of Laano? It is to make Africans aware of the Okat's whole career as poet singer has been concerned with the problem of making tradition meaningful to modernity and avoiding Western solutions to African problems. From this preliminary survey of critical commentary, we go into P. Bike's actual works, beginning with Song of Song of Laano depicts a heroine who laments the rejection of African tradition for Western ways by the educated elite. By using the song style, the poem is not just a lament, but a series of songs meant to celebrate African culture. Cook, 231, implies this trend when he says that urge is to celebrate in her own right the positive qualities of a celebration in poetry is an aspect of African traditional oral culture. Louis Nkosi confirms this when he asserts in this community the poet or the artist in general is there to celebrate his own or his society's sense of being dot and not there to subvert its social values or moral order, quote in what are the African values that Laano celebrates? These are, African aesthetics, or beauty, African concepts of religion, death, education, and medicine, among others. These are contrasted with their European counterparts. No one uproot the pumpkin from the old homestead meaning that one's traditional culture should not be destroyed or abandoned recklessly. The pumpkin and the homestead are symbolic of African traditional Laano, who also symbolizes African tradition, adopts as the butt of her attacks, her husband Akal. Akal is symbolic of the modern educated African, who has adopted wholesale, European cultural and mental attitudes. Akal is artistically presented as rejecting African tradition, when Laano says in the opening lines, Husband, now you despise me. Now you treat me with spite. And say I have inherited the stupidity of my aunt. With rubbish in the rubbish pit. You say you no longer want me. Because I am like the thing left behind. In the deserted homestead. P.34 it is this rejection of the old for the modern that bestows Lwino's song the quality of lament, my clansman, I. She soon picks on her husband's mistress, Clementine. In this instance, she portrays the European idea of aesthetics as it relates to women's beauty. The satiric comments Laino makes about Clementine are sharp and Brother, when you see Clementine the beautiful one aspires to look like a white woman. And when little sweat begins to appear on, she looks like the guinea fowl. That this is beautiful, P37. To this, she juxtaposes the African concept of beauty. To the Akali and I will tell, whose breasts are just emerging. Smear shea butter on their bodies. The beautiful oil from Lab Waramar. You adorn yourself for the dance. With ochre. 
pages 51, 52. She also picks up European religion and compares it with African traditional religions. Her verdict is that the latter is more real to the African than Christianity. In the name of the Father and of the Clean Ghost, p.74. The above is a reference to Christian catechism. Next, she picks up the church catechists for bashing. The catechist, she says, makes only meaningless sounds. But he spoke the same language through his blocked nose. Then you look at the teacher. Like the yellow monkey, p.76. Contrasted with this, is her traditional religion, which is partly symbolized by the traditional healer, whom Akal. And Akali herbalists, p.93. Aside from the role of the traditional healer as a symbol of traditional religion, he also represents the African notion of medicine. Of course, Akal as an educated man and a Christian would not allow African medicine or juju into his house. But Laino goes on to give few examples of herbal medicines as illustrated by this traditional The shoots of Lapina For coughs and sore throats you put some salt in it and chew it. The shoots Lapina and Olim are chewed when they have removed the blockage in the throat, p.96. She contrasts this with Akal's predilection for Western medicine. And I mix up slash matters of health and superstitions. p.101. In spite of this, she affirms the potency of African traditional medicine. White man's medicines are strong slash but acolyte medicines. Western education also comes in for attack. And in this case, Western education is epitomized by her husband's house which she describes as a forest of books. According to Laino, the books have made Akal to lose his is a dark forest of books, p.113. Her lament here is strident because her woes arise from the fact of her husband's education which results in his abandonment of the old one, Laano. All medicine men and medicine women. When the day has not yet slashed on for the great journey slash the last safari. Finally, she makes commentaries about the lot of the common man, and the mercenary activities of the political elite. She criticizes the political elite's mercenary motives for joining political parties, p.108. And against this mercenary motive, what is the lot of the common man? It is deplorable. And while the pythons of slash sickness and the buffaloes of poverty and ignorance stands there are tightly locked in bloody feud slash eating each other's liver p.111 to Laino, therefore, modernity has not brought as much benefits as Akal would want her to believe she sums the blindness that you got in the library will be removed by the diviner Lwino's arguments he prefers to dwell on insults. Akal who symbolically represents the modern, educated African enamoured of European tradition, presents himself by denigrating African culture. Huts, granaries all in ruins. He is unapologetic and seems to be saying that old things must pass away so that Africa may move along with the times. Africa to him is too backward. Twitching in dreams. He therefore calls for a reconstruction, through demolition. Break up the cooking pots. And water pots. P 127. Techniques of presentation used by Okotl Bitek. 
What are some of the techniques that Okat P. Vitek uses in realizing his message? Some of these are as follows. His poems. For example, in Song of Laano we find that Laano is addressing not only Akal, but also her. Husband, now you despise me. Now you treat me with spite. P.34 In Song of Akal, Akal addresses Laano. Sailors, workers, and even wives of men who patronize her, and you. Similarly, the prisoner in Song of Prisoner addresses himself to his captors. The use of the dirge style, the poem Song of Laano is a lamentation, and true to its type, it adopts the African. Listen to my voice, P.35. Song of Prisoner, among others. And within the poems themselves, there are references to song, as in Song of. And they sang silently, song. The cattle are coming, P.48. Use of praise names, in Song of Laano, for example, Laano makes use of praise names in addressing Akal. This is partly to demonstrate the deep love and respect she still has for her husband. But at a deeper level, it is symptomatic of an African heroic tradition normally present in panegyrics. Some of the praise names she uses. A. Son of the Bull, P.119 B. Son of a Chief, P.34 Wino's use of oblique respectful titles reflects the fact that she is living within a peasant community in which the titles and praise names are still meaningful, quote in more 183. The use of exaggeration, Okat P. Bitek frequently uses exaggeration to make his points, in most of his poems. In Song of Laano, Laano exaggerates the ugliness of Clementine, with particular attention to the breasts. They have made nests of cotton slash wool. Describing the charade that was political independence, Akal in Song of Akal says. To its open eyes. P.143. Similarly, in Song of Prisoner, the prisoner in an attempt to describe the vigorousness of the dance he would like to take part in, uses exaggeration as follows. With a vengeance slash and shake in bones of my father in his grave. The use of language, Okat P. Bitek makes use of language in a unique way. Since his poems are derived from the traditional oral folklore of the Akali people, his imagery is Akali, and at once African. His diction is also simple, transliterating the diction and nuances of popular rendition in the African oral arts. Commenting on this phenomenon, Roscoe, 44, says Just as Okat's lines are largely free of inert language, so his actual choice of diction shows a preference for the plain and common core we must see it within the realms of orature. He uses the language of local imagery. To underscore the use of local imagery, Laano characterizes Clementine. Like monkey, giraffe, bee, scorpion, and even typically Akali words like Pollock, Jock, Malakwang, Ajug, Lajanawera, Bird, Lapina, and Olim, among others. Akal also makes references to Moran, Shika, Olam, Shenzi, etc. Aside from these, Akal, in Song of Akal uses a much more sophisticated and dense language, thus. Strewn with human skeletons, P.136. The reason for such sophisticated language is to reflect correctly, Akal's substantial Western education. These are just few of the techniques used by Okat P. Vitek. His intention, as earlier stated, was to make tradition real to the Thank you and be well.